हेलो क्रिप्टो फैम थैंक्स फॉर ट्यूनिंग बैक टू माय चैनल इन माय लास्ट वीडियो ऑन सोल बाउंड टोकन्स वी केम अक्रॉस क्वाड्रेटिक फंडिंग कॉन्सेप्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल मेक एन अटेम्प्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज क्वाड्रेटिक फंडिंग एंड हाउ इज इट एन ऑप्टिमल वे टू फंड पब्लिक गुड्स नाउ लेट मी पुल अप एन आर्टिकल फ्रॉम मीडियम ऑन क्वाड्रेटिक फंडिंग एंड आई ऑल्सो गिव यू द लिंक फॉर दिस आर्टिकल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन so you can go and check it out yourself now before moving further we will first try to understand what are public goods now public goods are generally provided by governments such as public infrastructure like railroad public parks and medical services etc now if we have to define public goods formally a public good must be non rivalrous which means that used by one member does not decrease availability to others and non excludable which means that everyone should be able to access it our examples that we just discussed like public parks etc are an example of public good now quadratic funding in nutshell means individuals can donate towards public goods or their favorite projects these contributions will then be matched by government funds philanthropists or grants program now let us try to understand this with an example and let's see there are three projects project a b and c and there are different number of contributors to each project now project a has 5 contributors project b has 2 contributors and project c has 20 contributors and the total amount of contributions that all the three projects have received is equal the only difference is, is the number of contributors and the amount contributed by each individual in case of project c each individual has contributed 50 dollar which is the least among all the projects and in project b each individual has contributed 500 dollar which is the highest among all three now let's say there is a 10000 dollar grant program which will be provided by governments or any other public grants and these 10000 dollars and these 10000 dollars will go towards each of the projects now the amount that will be matched from public grants towards each of these projects will be different and that will be calculated based on this quadratic funding formula let's try to understand this with an example let's start with project a in case of project a there are 5 contributors and each of them have contributed 200 dollars so we are going to take the square root of each of the contributed amount so we are going to take square root of 200 5 times because five contributions have been made each of 200 dollars we take the square root for each and then we square it out and at the end we get 5000 for project a similar calculations if we perform on project b and project c we will get 2000 for project b and for project c we get 20000 now to calculate how much of this 10000 dollars will go towards project a we have to divide the amount that we just now received following this formula 5000 divide by 5000 plus 2000 plus 20000 multiplied by the total grants available and this comes out to be around 1851 dollars for project a So from the total grants of ten thousand dollar project, A will receive a contribution, a matching contribution of one thousand eight hundred and fifty one dollars approximately. Now, if we perform similar calculations for all these three projects, you can see that there is a huge difference in matched amounts for all the three projects. Project A got a funding of one thousand eight hundred and fifty one dollars approximately. Project B got a funding of magic funding of $740 and project C got a whooping $7407 and if we see the percentage of initial amount we can observe that for project A it's 185% of the initial $1000 that were contributed for project B it's 74% and for project C it's whooping 740% so what has changed in case of project c that it has received the largest amount of magic funding from this 10000 dollar public grant as you can observe that project b has the largest amount of individual contributors which is 20 this means a project that has large number of individual contributing to tends to serve a larger public 
and they should receive significantly more funding than the one that tends to serve a smaller audience. Now, quadratic funding is not a perfect way to fund public goods and it has its own shortcomings which we will discuss in our next video when we talk about quadratic funding and soul bound tokens. Now, there was a paper published on quadratic funding by Vitalik Butrian, Zoe Hitzig and E. Glenville and also there is a blog post written by Vitalik Butrian. Now, I'll give you all the links into the description, so be sure to check it out. Now, I want to wrap up this video with an example of Gitcoin, which was the first to implement quadratic funding. Now, Gitcoin is a platform to build and fund Web3 projects, and they have also supported till now quite popular projects like Uniswap, EPNS, and Finematic's YouTube channel, Kickback, etc. Now, let's see an example of the funds that they have actually granted to world 68 teams so you can see there is a hundred thousand matching grant that will come from gitcoin and if you see an example here you can see these are the projects and this is the amount that they have raised from people and this is the number of backers so you can see that project ent hub has maximum number of backers and plasma group has the least number of backers so proportional to that, you can see from the funds of 100,000, the maximum of $16,209 was received by Anthub and the least amongst all the matched amount, which is $3,280 went towards Plasma Group. Even though if you take a look at this amount raised by people, you can see that Lighthouse has got the most amount in US dollars raised amongst all these projects. However, the amount matched was highest for Anthub simply because it has more number of backers as compared to Lighthouse. So that was all about quadratic funding and in our next video we will discuss how quadratic funding can be improved with soul bound tokens and that is it for this video folks. I hope you liked the video. If you did please like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.